Hi everyone, Hussein here. Welcome to my channel. I'm an Unreal Engine authorized instructor and the author of the recently released Virtual Filmmaking with Unreal Engine 5 book. I've been teaching and using Unreal Engine 5 for the past few years and I've accumulated some tips, tricks and techniques of which I'd like to share with you. I am positive that these techniques will improve your workflow and productivity. If it does, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more Unreal Engine based content. Let's get started. In this video, I would like to talk about the pivot point. In this case, we have a door here, and unfortunately, the pivot point is not where it's supposed to be. If I would do some rotation now, you can see the, the door is not working properly. So what I will do is I will have to move the pivot point will be to the right hand side over here. To move a pivot point in Unreal Engine, you need to hold down the Alt key and using the middle mouse button, hold down to one of the axes. In this case, it's going to be the Y axis. I'm going to like grab it and push it to the right until it snaps to the edge. So now if I hit on the rotation, I can rotate it properly now. Uh, unfortunately for this, if I click away and you can see the, if I click back on the door, the pivot point comes back to where it was earlier. So in order to make that permanent, we're going to use the same keyboard shortcut, Alt, middle mouse button, drag to the right. And now we have to do a right click on the object, or in this case, the door, go to pivot and say set as pivot offset. So if I click away now and I click on the door, the pivot is already there. So this is how you actually change the position of the pivot point in Unreal Engine. Let's look at the next example. For this example, I'm going to use the directional light. I have a directional light in the viewport over here. And what I'll do is I would like to move the directional light out of the view. I'm going to grab the Y axis. I'm just going to push it up. So there'll be a situation where you want to rotate the light when you don't have access to its axis. There's a keyboard shortcut that we can use, of course, press Control and L, and then you can move the light around. But sometimes you want to have some sort of a precision movement of the light. So I, I have no access to the pivot point over here. I have assigned a keyboard shortcut to access the pivot point in my viewport. So if I press the apostrophe key in my case, the pivot point will actually pop into the scene here. If I move into the rotation mode, I can now rotate my light in a precision mode. And I'll show you how you can set this up. Go up to the edit menu, go to editor preferences, and in the search window, type in pivot, and you will have access to this property called set pivot offset here. I've assigned mine to a prosophy. You can set it up to whichever key that you want. Again, I'm going to show you. I don't have access to the pivot point. If I press my prosophy key, it's there. I can even move it around or I can just rotate it. And also works for other objects. If you have any other objects in your scene and they are out of the viewport, you can actually access to the pivot point using this method. Let's jump to example number three. Before we jump to the next tip, I'd like to talk about my book. If you're interested in using Unreal Engine for filmmaking, I strongly suggest you check out Virtual Filmmaking with Unreal Engine 5. It covers topics such as principles of photography, storyboarding, Quixel Megascans, Lumen and Nanite technology, MetaHumans, virtual cameras, and much, much more. It has 400 pages of step-by-step -step instructions for creating a film from scratch. I'm sure you'll find it a great resource and you'll also be able to download the PDF copy of the book. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, on to the next tip. In this example, I'm going to show you how you can actually repair or remedy a uh, a 3D model which has issues with its uh, pivot point. So I have a, a forklift here. I'm going to drag it into my scene and you can see that it is not actually placing itself in, in the right place. You can clearly see that this uh, pivot point is not set correctly. We can use the method we used in the previous example to move the pivot point to where it's supposed to be, like the bottom of the forklift to make sure that it rotates. At the moment it's not, it's actually doing that. So I'm going to show you another way of changing or repairing the pivot point for such situations. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to the selection mode up here and we're going to choose something called the modeling mode. If you don't have a modeling mode set up in your version of the Unreal Engine, you can go up to the settings up here and then go to plugins and type in modeling and you should enable the modeling tools and mode plugin over here. And you probably need to restart. I have my plugin already enabled, so I'm going to click on modeling mode and it's as easy as going down to the transform button over here and click on edit pivot. And here you have an option of setting up at the pivot point. So I'm going to click on center bottom. So now if you notice, the pivot point has been set to the center at the bottom of the forklift. And all I need to do now is click on accept and we are done. We will jump back to the selection mode and now you can see, you can actually uh, select the forklift and I reset it to 000, press the F key and it's all done. That's it. That's how you do it. it can be done directly in Unreal Engine now. 
there's no need for you to jump into a, another software or another DCC to get that sorted out. That's it for this video. If you find any of the tips useful, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you like more Unreal Engine 5 tips, tricks and techniques, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one and bye for now.